We're here at the historic Pioneer Museum in Dade City, Florida on this beautiful and rather crisp December morning. On July 9, 1861, tragedy struck the home of one of America's most beloved writers and poets, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. His wife was standing near an open window trying to preserve some locks of her daughter's hair in small packets using hot sealing wax. It isn't known whether it was the spark of a match or maybe the heat of the wax itself, but in an instant, her dress caught fire and she was engulfed in flames. From this tragedy comes a Christmas carol familiar to us all. I'll tell you how that happened in a moment. Sleeping in the next room, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow heard the frantic screams of his wife in the midst of a fire. He rushed in, desperately trying to save her, sustaining serious burns on his hands and face. But he was not successful. Later that evening, she slipped into a coma, and she died the next day. Longfellow could not even attend the funeral of his own wife. So severe were his burns. He was grief-stricken. He continued to work his craft writing prolifically, so his family were the only ones who knew the depth of his grief, but they could see it. They could see it in his eyes. They were aware of it in long periods of solitude and silence. Three years later, on Christmas Day, Longfellow sat down committed to try to snap out of it. And so he began to write, trying to capture the joy of the season. These are his words. I heard the bells on Christmas Day their old familiar carols play, and loud and sweet with words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. He stopped for a moment, thinking to himself how difficult it would be to write of peace on earth, goodwill to men, when America was racked by civil war, the, the carnage of brother against brother. The Battle of Gettysburg was still fresh on the minds of Americans who had been shocked by the slaughter. And so he continued to write. Then in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. The hate is strong. It mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Of course, Longfellow knew he couldn't finish a song about Christmas on such a somber note. And so at that moment, he set the pace for the rest of us. And in the midst of his loss, in the midst of his grief about what was happening in his own country around him, he turned to the one who can make all the difference, the one who can create joy out of sorrow, peace out of turmoil. And then he wrote the last stanza of his poem. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor does he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail with peace on earth, goodwill to men. With every Christmas I experience, I grow increasingly sensitive to the fact that this season of the year can be extremely difficult for some people. With all the parties and the gift giving and families together and celebrating, there seems to be an obligation, I suppose, to the merriment, when indeed that may not be what we're feeling at all. I may be speaking to you. You might be alone. Maybe you've been alone for some time. To complicate things, you may be ill, discouraged, maybe even bitter. Well, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow suffered the tragic loss of his wife, but it was the Christmas season that prompted him to move forward, to grow through that loss and that adversity. Christmas reminded Longfellow that God loved us so much that we need never be alone. 